Two current WWE stars have reacted to the Vince McMahon allegations. Seth Rollins has quoted a top AEW star in his latest rundown of CM Punk, and this former world champion will never return. But first, be sure to subscribe we have notifications turned on so you don't miss the latest pro wrestling news. And let's start then by taking a look at scrapped plans for a major WWE World Championship match. This past weekend, WWE would head to Perth, Australia Australia to host the Elimination Chamber, a show headlined by a match that saw Nia Jax fall short in her attempt to win the WWE Women's World Championship from Rhea Ripley. One Australian WWE superstar that missed the event was Bronson Reed, who would lose to Bobby Lashley two weeks earlier in an Elimination Chamber qualification match, leading to fans wondering why he wasn't present. Reed has since taken to social media to confirm that he and his wife have just welcomed their first baby earlier than scheduled, with this being one of the reasons that he missed the Chamber event and he would write. Full disclosure, originally I was set to be at WWE Chamber, it would have been an incredible moment. Unfortunately, plans changed, but everything happens for a reason. My wife and I have had our baby early. I was supposed to miss the PLE to make sure I'm here for my family. Thank you all for your support. To all my friends and family who have reached out. With that said, Fightful Select have now reported the other reason as to why he wasn't on the show, and have revealed the original plan for Bronson in his home country, and they would write, Fightful Select has learned that Bronson Reed was slated for a huge spot on the Elimination Chamber show in his home country. Originally, Reed was scheduled to face Seth Rollins in a World Heavyweight Championship match, into that in promos where he said he was coming after a champion that had no idea it was coming. Unfortunately, plans for the match were cancelled when Rollins sustained a knee injury and wasn't able to perform on the show. We're told that Reed was more than willing to work the event ahead of the birth of his child, but everything ended up working out for the best. And next up, a surprise WWE signing has been revealed. The past few months has seen some major movements for staff and talent within WWE, with there being a number of departures across all departments. However, this week a brand new signing for the company has been revealed, as Bodyslam.net are reporting that an independent wrestler has now joined the SmackDown creative team. According to the report, North Carolina-based wrestler Patrick Scott has joined WWE as a writer's assistant and is scheduled to begin work today and they would write Sources have confirmed to me that independent wrestler Patrick Scott has been hired by WWE as the new writer's assistant for SmackDown and is said to be starting this Monday. PWF in North Carolina does send off for Scott on Saturday night. Following his performance, Patrick left his boots in the ring. He posted a message on social media thanking everyone. Scott was trained as a wrestler at the Carolina Wrestling Academy, with one of his coaches being ECW legend Steve Carino, and has appeared on WWE NXT twice in the past in 2017 and 2018. He's also in fact a former Deadlock Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champion, a promotion ran by wrestling game YouTubers John Blood, Tony Pizza Guy, and Pulse, although his time on the independent circuit appears to be over for the foreseeable future. Next up, let's take a look at why this WWE legend turned down AEW. This weekend, wrestling legend Sting will wrestle his final ever match at the AEW Revolution pay-per-view, with him set to team alongside fellow AEW Tag Team Champion Darby Allin to take on the Young Bucks. One of Sting's greatest ever rivals of his career was Kevin Nash, somebody who was a key part of the New World Order in WCW of the late 90s, who would recently take to his Click This podcast to review that he turned down an approach from Sting to be in attendance for his last match, and this is what he had to say back then. He asked me to be part of it. I just said that because of my positioning with the company. With WWE, I couldn't. I couldn't even be there. If I went in the crowd, it would be... He said he wanted me to be there because I was just one of the guys that's been with him the whole run. He was disappointed. I was disappointed. I knew. I asked. You know when you ask and there's that three or four second pause and it's just like, okay. On the latest episode of Click This, Nash would clarify his comments, noting that he's not on the WWE payroll, but his decision is linked to his loyalty to Triple H, and Kevin would say, No, I never said that. I was on the payroll. What I said was, I'm a WWE guy. I can't have a picture of me, of the crowd, and underneath it says, is all elite. I just can't have that. It just doesn't work. One of my closest friends. 
and friends is Paul Levesque. As much as I love Steve, and I know he'll have one last match, I will watch it, we will talk about it. I haven't been to a WrestleMania, a Raw, a SmackDown, or any of the other pay-per-views. I haven't been to any events, I don't want to go to any place and be around a bunch of people, let alone wrestling people. I just don't want to do it. I'm a hermit and that's it. Kevin Nash's comments are a little contradictory as in his initial statement he would say that he asked WWE if he could attend and was disappointed by their response or lack of but then later implied that the decision was his own. Either way we can rule out a Kevin Nash appearance at AEW Revolution although it'll be interesting to see what other legends are in the building to support the icon that night. And next, two current WWE stars have reacted to the Vince McMahon allegations. In recent weeks, we've seen many top names from the wrestling world comment on the ongoing sex trafficking lawsuit filed against Vince McMahon. We have current WWE stars as prominent as John Cena and Randy Orton being asked for their opinions in interviews. Speaking with Daily Mail online ahead of this past weekend's Elimination Chamber event, two more current WWE superstars would give their opinion on the matter, those being Women's Chamber match winner Becky Lynch and men's chamber match participant Kevin Owens. Starting with Owens, he would discuss the terrible nature of the allegations detailed in the suit, adding how the news makes him feel and Kevin would note, Everything that has come out is awful, just terrible. There's really no words to describe how sad this makes me feel. If the people spoke out went through what they went through, that's terrible, it's shameful and it can't ever happen again. That's what it comes down to. Becky Lynch, who is now bound for a WrestleMania main event match with Women's World Champion Rhea Ripley, would provide her own perspective as a female in the WWE system and said, I've been fortunate in my career that I've always felt supported by the company. These allegations are horrible. It's hard to reconcile as a talent and as a woman, but my experience in WWE has only ever been amazing. Yes, in the beginning, there were some restrictions put on things. We couldn't punch. We had to hair pull. There were weird things there. Being able to push us forward, push women forward, I'm very grateful for that and the opportunity to even have my family. This company, some of these things are hard to reconcile. Next up, Seth Rollins has quoted a top AEW star in his latest rundown of CM Punk. And speaking of Elimination Chamber media duties this weekend, another WWE talent that would speak ahead of the show was Seth Rollins, who was the reigning WWE World Heavyweight Champion on Monday Night Raw. Heading into this year's WrestleMania, it appears that the visionary was destined for a match against longtime rival CM Punk, who unfortunately suffered an injury during this year's Royal Rumble match that scuppered those plans. However, when speaking with Wrestle Radio Australia this weekend, he would continue to fan the flames of rivalry with the Second City Saints, going as far as quoting his old Shield teammate John Moxley, formerly Dean Ambrose, from a promo during the latter's feud with Punk in AEW. In relation to CM Punk's injury, Seth would say, I mean, I don't want to say I told you so, but me and a lot of other people told you so. What's the line? Fragile mind, fragile body, fragile ego. I think somebody that I know said something like that about him, and it rings true. So look here, here's the deal, and I told him this in the ring. If you want to find your way to me and the World Heavyweight Championship, you're going to have to work for it. The deal is he's going to have to work a little harder now. Following the men's elimination chamber match, Rollins is now set to defend his world title against Drew McIntyre at WrestleMania, and with both men still taking shots at CM Punk whilst he's on the sidelines, it'll be interesting to see if the straight edge superstar will still play a role in the match. Perhaps he could be the special guest referee that would no doubt be interesting to see how he'd call the match. And next, this former world champion will never return. New Japan Pro Wrestling legend Kazuchika Okada has officially worked the last match of his contract with the promotion, with him now finding himself as a free agent. With rumours abound that he's set to become All Elite in AEW in the near future, there's talk of whether he'll appear for his former employer via the Forbidden Door, something recent AEW signing Will Ospreay confirmed will happen in his own situation. As of now, Okada's last New Japan bout would take 
place this past weekend at New Beginning in Sapporo, where he and his Chaos teammates would defeat the United Empire in 10-man tag action. With that said, it seems that the Rainmaker's time in NJPW is over completely. That's if comments made this week are to be believed. In an interview with Tokyo Sport, Okada would reveal that he does not plan on making a return to New Japan Pro Wrestling in the future. This one asked if there will ever be a rematch between himself and IWGP World Heavyweight Champion Tetsuya Naito, who he joined in the ring to close this past weekend's show, and Okada would say, I'm already looking ahead to what's next, and I'm going out with the intention of never coming back to New Japan. I'm sorry about that, but I don't think so. Of course, I want to treasure the feeling and the words I've received. Whilst it's hard to believe that Okada will never be seen in a New Japan Pro Wrestling ring again, it seems that for now he's got no intention of returning to the promotion, no matter whether he opts to sign for AEW or WWE. And before you go, make sure you check out 10 current AEW and WWE wrestlers who were arrested.